we're gonna convert a PO order to Excel. So we're gonna take data from a purchase order, throw it into Lido, which is this awesome software I use to automate things in a spreadsheet like template. And we're gonna extract the data we need, take it into Microsoft Excel. The first thing that we'll do is come up here to the PDF tools and we want this data extractor tool. Now you can access this by right clicking a cell and it's here on the drop down list as well. Once we've got this dialog box, we're just going to upload this PDF purchase order and it's gonna give us this nice extract data screen right here. So this is an intelligent tool that's going to automatically review the document. It's gonna pull in these potential headers, PO number, date, product code, et cetera, and also give some generic instructions for the prompting AI engine right here. And then we've got a page range option if we need to change that, an extract multiple rows per document option that we're gonna leave checked, and I'll show you why in a second. And then down here, if we want to add additional files, we have an additional place to upload any more files. And when we're ready, we click process down here. Now, I'm gonna show you a few things we can do here because we're gonna change this up here. As you can see, it has already added these headers according to the columns that it's extracting from our purchase order. Now, let me show you the purchase order we're using. It's this one right here. And by and large, this is pretty simple. I've left a lot of information out and just got three items in this purchase order with amounts, unit prices, quantities, subtotals. We get total amount, tax, all this pretty standard issue stuff here. So going back to Lido, I am going to remove these items here and you can see that it's removing them actively from our Lido spreadsheet right over here. And what we can do instead, if we want to, is just tell it exactly what we want the AI to extract from the purchase order. So I've got a list of items here that I'm going to just copy in. So here are the items that I want for this particular purchase order. And down here in the extra instructions, we don't have to do anything here if we don't want to. I'm gonna remove this and I'll put a big prompt in here in just a second if we want to add specific instructions to make sure that the AI is doing what we want it to. Now, remember for our document, for our purchase order, we've got multiple lines with code, product description, quantity, unit price, amount. We've got multiple rows of information here that we want to use. So we're gonna use this extract multiple rows per document. That way those items will be different, but items like the total PO amount and total tax will remain the same. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and click process files. And if we close out this window, you can see that it has successfully processed the information. We've got Lido app as the vendor, purchase order number, item descriptions, item quantities, unit item price, everything looks to be exactly like we had it here on our invoice. Total amount 2694, total amount 269430. If you wanna get a little bit more detailed with your instructions to the model, if you're not getting exactly the right responses that you need to, or you have a pretty complicated purchase order, you can do something along these lines. It is often helpful to give the AI a task. You are a meticulous purchase order processing clerk. I'm giving you a purchase order. Here's what you are, here's what I need you to do. Please output the following data fields for each line item of the purchase order and going through these items that we've already put columns up here for. The PO number and vendor are going to be the same for each line item in the purchase order. And then the item description, quantity, unit price, total item price are unique to each item order depicted in the purchase order. So that way it'll just make sure that what happened happens. So if something funky happened up here, we can put in a prompt like this and just make sure that we get the intended result from our AI model. Now, a couple other things here. If we wanna add more files down here, we've got this click to upload spot down here. We can add multiple files to this one processing. If we've got multiple invoices that are the same from like different companies or different dates or whatever, 
Also, if we've got a purchase order that has multiple pages, well, we might need to prompt the AI for that saying, hey, this is an invoice, but it's extra long. It's over multiple pages. Just make note of that when you extract it instead of treating it like two different purchase orders. And then lastly, if you've got multiple purchase orders in one PDF document. So you've got four pages, each page is a new purchase order. That would be another instance where prompting the AI accordingly right here is gonna be real valuable for you to do. Okay, now that we've got our data up in here, how do we get this into Excel? The whole purpose of what we were doing? Well, it's pretty easy. File, export values to Excel. That's going to immediately pop this into an Excel file, and here is it right here on our desktop now. So that's how you take purchase order information, extract it into Lido, export it into Excel. Hope that's helpful for you. I've got another video on a similar concept using Lido that you can check out here, and I hope you have a great day. Talk to you later.